Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. Uh, my name is Andrew and I have a bit of a special episode um, planned for you today. First of all I'd like to start off by um, thanking one of my new friends and subscribers, his name is Adrian. Um, about a, a month ago, um, Adrian and I, we subscribed to each other's like Twitter and Instagram pages and we just um, got chatting. Uh, cut a long story short, so we were looking at each other's pages and Adrian offered to send me a sample of uh, the SMWS, the Triple Berry Lamington Cake. It's a bit of a mouthful on that one. Um, yeah, so he, Adrian offered to send me this and as true to his word, he did. Um, so this episode is dedicated to Adrian. Uh, just a little bit of a, a rundown on this bottle. It is uh, seven years old. Uh, it was distilled in 2010, bottled in 2017. It has an ABV of 58.3%. Um, as far as region goes, it's a Highland malt. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find out which particular distillery it was from. Uh, I tried, but even the SMWS uh, website was quite vague. They only mentioned the region and uh, even whatever other research I tried to do on it, I just couldn't find the distillery. I had been told that it could be an Altmore but uh, I'm, I'm not 100%, so I'm not going to say that it definitely is. I'm going to pour a little bit of this um, into my glass to start tasting. Uh, I am going to try and savour it a little bit because I, I have that really strong feeling that I'm going to love this. So for now, let's just pour a, dip, pour a little bit. I think that should do for now. Close that back up, I don't want to spill anything. Okay. Okay, well that, as I said before, every opportunity that I've taken just to have a, a nose of that bottle has just blown me away. That nose is absolutely sensational. Okay, so there's vanilla, lots of fruit, uh, dried fruits, I would say plums, apple. Um, with other whiskies that I've tried before, I've tended to get a bit of a, a green apple note. This is red apple, uh, very sweet red apple. There's a slight hint of caramel that comes through touch of raspberry. I think I'm getting a bit of grape as well. Well, <laughs> this is one thing that I've, an idea that I've been playing with whenever I've been nosing this. It reminds me of those, uh, those Mentos tubes. I don't know if you're, if you're familiar, if any of you are familiar with those like little foil wrapped uh, Mentos packets of like the mixed fruit flavors. That's what this smells like. It smells like a packet of Mentos, <laughs> in a good way. Uh, you just, even though it's on the nose, you don't want to drink it, you just want to keep smelling it. That's fantastic. Yep, I think that's it for the nose at the moment. So let's have a look at that color as well. It's a nice, beautiful, golden color. Even when, so when you move it around the glass as well, I mean, it's, it's thick. It's got a very, uh, quite a lot of, let's say, the, um, the legs that it has coming down of it. It's, it. It's almost like a very syrupy whiskey. So, all right, enough of that. Let's get into the taste. Um, and here will be my notes for the palate. Oh, wow. <laughs> the first thing you're going to notice, that ABV is going to punch you. Um, as I mentioned before, it's 58.3%. Now the, oh man, that is, that is beautiful. Uh, the, 
the palette is not what I was expecting at all. Off the nose, I was expecting, a, you know, from the nose, I was expecting the palette to be very fruity. Um, it's not. Uh, you do get that vanilla coming back through. Very nutty and biscuity. Um, I would say uh, there's definitely almond. Man, there's just so much going on. Yep, yeah, so almond. I'm going to go also with like a like a vanilla tea cake. It's also I say I mentioned almond, but I'm also getting a, a variety of mixed nuts as well that I unfortunately I can't really pinpoint them all, but there's a bit of peanut coming through. Yeah, it's it's all nuts and cake and biscuits. It's, it's all uh, baked goods in a baked goods in a glass. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of a like an icing sugar taste that's coming through. Uh, and this, I wish I had a full bottle because this is a whiskey that. The, this is the type of whiskey that the more you sit with it, the more you you drink and enjoy it. Uh, it you'll pick so much out of it. I mean, this is a that's a thirty mil sample. I've only poured that much out of it, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy this for some time. Um, I'm definitely not going to be smashing that down anytime soon. I'm going to savor that. Um, I think really I should add some water to it. Uh, I might just do that actually, but first let's see uh, what I get for the on the finish. Just let me have this last sip. Now the, thing, the surprising thing is uh, with that high ABV, that fifty-eight point three percent ABV, um, the finish is very mellow. Uh, on the palate when I first sipped it, it punched, um, but as it goes down, it's very smooth. Um, again, you're getting all those uh, vanilla caramel notes that are coming through. Um, uh, the slight nuttiness, uh, but not that much. It is dissipating as it's going as it's going away. Uh, I'll say that's it for now. Uh, I'm just going to quickly pause this. Um, I'm gonna add, get to go and grab some water because I really need to see what this is gonna taste like with water. So I'll be back in a second. Um, so I've just uh, I've already say given my notes uh, on this SMWS uh, whiskey um, without water. I've just poured myself a little bit more. Um, but this time I've added about three drops of water to it. Uh, so I. Let's see how it goes on the nosing this time with water. Okay, so adding the water, the the notes have been brought down. It's not as intense. Now it is pretty much just uh, vanilla and caramel notes coming through on the nose. That red apple that I mentioned earlier has now turned to more of like a green apple. And it's become more grassy as well. Let's see how it goes in the palette. Okay, so it's taken, the water has definitely taken off a lot of that alcohol burn. It's, it doesn't have that punch um, that it had originally, uh, but it's still, it's, it's still very warm. Uh, and pretty much at the moment, all those notes that I mentioned earlier have been just brought down a level. It still has that cakey, um, nutty flavor to it, uh, but it's nowhere near as intense as what it was before. Definitely more grassy, caramel. What else? There's something there. I, I can't pick it at the moment, unfortunately. It's just, it's really annoying. I want to know what it is that that note that I'm getting. It, it probably is a bit more now of like a, a buttery shortbread. But uh, there's there's so much going on. 
again the um, the finish hasn't been affected uh, the finish is still very smooth uh, very enjoyable again uh, still vanilla uh, more grassy notes this time on the finish uh, yeah I'd have to say it's pretty much it that's what I'm getting at the moment I mean there's so much more I want to be able to tell you because there is so much going on uh, unfortunately now just adding the water to that um, bit I'm down to half a bottle I did forget to mention the mouthfeel uh, beautiful mouthfeel uh, it, it just fills your mouth really well you get a nice even so you will get a nice even coating over your tongue uh, surprisingly as well as I mentioned um, even though you've got that ABV punch that high ABV punch to it uh, it doesn't burn the tongue or sting in any way it is very pleasant and that was and I have to say thank you Adrian um, very much uh, you have no idea how much I've enjoyed that whiskey. Um, unfortunately, like the words in my description probably aren't enough to really uh, portray that as much as I would like, but man, that was absolutely sensational. Um, and I think the, the best part of it all was just being able to experience that, uh, that generosity that a lot of us in the, the whiskey community know um, and that we're able to experience uh, with our peers. I know say, if a lot of you follow um, Roy Aquavite or, um, or say even um, Alan, the whiskey friend, I mean those are two fantastic uh, uh, whiskey channels and two amazing uh, people online. Um, they are constantly going on about how whiskey brings people together, how they say to quote um, Alan, the pleasure is in the sharing. It just makes things so much more enjoyable knowing that um, there's a community out there who is willing to share what they have and to share their knowledge and to do it willingly. And that's the amazing thing. Like I said, I had never, so I'd never met Adrian before. We only just got talking online and pretty much the first thing that he said would you like a sample I mean how many people can you meet or how many places can you go where that type of generosity uh, is spread it just doesn't happen very often these days especially that's it for now as I mentioned before my name is Andrew uh, if you have any questions or comments say please uh, Say so please leave your questions or comments in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please you can click that box right down there. Yeah, and to all my returning subscribers, thank you very much. Your support has been absolutely sensational from the beginning up until now. And I look forward to seeing you all again. Unfortunately, that glass is empty now, so I'll toast with the bottle. Get this.